name is Erica with an A and welcome to my channel. In today's video we're going to go over my trip to Vegas, um, my steps if I maintain my weight, um, my budget, if I was under my budget or did I overspend, um, and I'll also be inserting a few clips of what I did while I was there. Um, we did a lot of stuff. Um, Wednesday was very busy. Um, and Tuesday. <laughs> so yeah, I'll kind of talk throughout the video, but then every once in a while I'll throw in a clip of something that we did or some pictures that we took. So it'll kind of be back and forth throughout this video. First thing I'm going to go over is the steps and if I maintain my weight throughout the week. So on Monday we had 12,811 steps. On Tuesday we had 13,239 steps. Wednesday we had a 23,857 steps. Uh, that was the day we walked the strip and we did a whole bunch of other stuff too that day. So lots of walking. <laughs> and then Thursday we had uh, 14,517 steps. Lots of walking. <laughs> um, most of those are over my goal that I want to hit every day. So I kind of got a taste of what every day should look like. <laughs> Um, but I, I was, I hurt after Wednesday, but that was 23,000 steps. So it was bound to happen. Um, <laughs> I did only eat, um, usually about two times a day. We did have some snack food up in the hotel room, but actual sit down and eating, we only really ate twice a day. Um, we tried to pick some nicer restaurants and then we also had days where we, we even got gas station food, but that was driving back from the Hoover Dam and Grand Canyon. So we needed just to get gas. And we just grabbed food while we were there. Um, I did put on two pounds, but I think that was because of like the flight and having a little more higher sodium foods. Um, so I don't think, those two pounds will stick around. Um, so I didn't put on a lot. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with coming back and only being up two pounds on the scale. Um, so I don't think that'll affect my overall weight for the month. I think it was just a fluke that happens when you travel and aren't used to the food you're eating. Um, so yeah, I, I'm pretty happy. We put in a lot of steps. We had fun, we got to see a lot of stuff. So overall, pretty good. Now my budget. This one I'm pretty happy about. <laughs> the first full day we were there, so on Monday, 
we decided to go gambling a little bit. And I left the floor with $600 above what I brought. <laughs> I was so ecstatic. Um, so what I ended up doing is I put the $500 in cash that I brought off to the side. I didn't want to touch that and decided I was just going to spend what I won. So uh, souvenirs, the activities we did, um, some of the eating that we did, some of the extra stuff we did, that all came out of my winnings for me. And um, the gambling that we did, all of that stuff, I tried to use my winnings. Um, there was a few things I put on my card because it was just easier to pay with the card. So overall, I used up that whole 600 that I had won with between gambling, drinks, and everything else. Um, so I did come back with the $500 that I went with. So I was ecstatic. I am going to put that money into the rest of my emergency fund. I'll, so I only need a couple hundred left. So by the end of February, I should have my emergency fund done. And from that point on, it'll be putting as much money as I can onto my credit cards. So starting 2020 out, awesome. Um, I'm hoping that I'll get my credit cards majority paid down with my tax return and then we'll just go from there. So I'm really hoping I might hit that uh, rock star goal um, of putting more onto my student loans. So um, with that $500 I brought back, I did even up with the couple that we went with because um, we paid the big chunk before we went for the flight and the car and the room, but there was extra fees and stuff once we got there. And then there was, we did charge a couple things to the room while we were there. So we had to split that up. Um, so that stuff, uh, we evened up with that $500. And um, so I still came home, I think it was an extra 150 a person. So what 350 so I'm I was very happy <laughs> um, so yeah I I did <laughs> I did rip my pants with all the walking <laughs> the thighs wore out pretty fast while we were down there um, so I did get a little rip in my pants so I did also use that money that I brought back with me to go buy some new pants um i did get two pairs but they there was a discount because i have the red card at target so i had the discount for that and then there was also one of their um target circle discounts that they have there was also a women's apparel that i was able to get a discount on that as well and then when we were getting ready for the trip i noticed that i was basically out of conditioner so i used that money to go and buy shampoo conditioner at first and then I found that everything was on sale um so I decided to get my shampoo and conditioner because they were 50% off and within a couple weeks I'll need shampoo anyways so might as well get it while it's on sale um but I was almost out of shampoo otherwise I wouldn't have gotten it um and then I did get another pair of workout capris. Um, I do only have one pair right now, or I did on only have one pair, and with working out more and having to wash them more often, um, I could tell that they were getting kind of thin. So I did buy another pair. I did go to Clothes Mentor, so it was $14 for uh, Under Armour capri workout pants, which is way cheaper than what they normally cost so I think I did pretty good um so like I said when I were am going to buy stuff I'm going to buy them with as many discounts or savings as I possibly can and I think I did pretty good with those um, so all the rest will be going into my emergency fund
clips from Vegas and the Hoover Dam and the Grand Canyon. Um, a recap of the video, we went over my steps, if I gained any weight, how I did on my budget, and then we went over what I did with the low spend once I got back, and I think this week was a win. Um, we enjoyed ourselves. we relaxed a little bit, um, I got to see things I never thought I was able to see in this my lifetime, like the Grand Canyon. It is so beautiful. Um, if you ever have the opportunity to go, I suggest take it because it was beautiful. I just wish we could have been there a little bit longer. Um, now I want to go and like camp there and spend a little more time there. Um, but we'll see if that <laughs> happens. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed everything. Um, so if you want to follow my journey, it just subscribe down below and ring the bell for notifications and I'll see you in the next one.